Well, new at five, a couple is suing a Riverdale hospital for malpractice, saying their son died doing a botched surgery. 11 Alive Molly Oak spoke with attorneys. So Molly, they filed a lawsuit earlier today. They filed a lawsuit against the doctor, the hospital and others involved in the delivery, which happened about a month ago. Lawyers say the woman went into labor on July 9th. Now we do want to warn you, some of the allegations in the lawsuit are graphic. This is one of the most sad, egregious and horrific situations that I've ever seen. Inside Southern Regional Medical Center one month ago, lawyers say a couple was preparing to welcome their first child into the world. But unfortunately, um, their dreams and hopes turned into a nightmare um, that was covered up by Southern Regional Medical Center. Lawyers say Jessica Ross went into labor for 10 hours on July 9th. When complications arose, they say the doctor did not call for proper emergency procedures in a timely manner, calling the doctor negligent for applying ridiculously excessive force on the baby's head and neck. Then lawyers say Ross was moved to get a C-section. The feet came out, the body came out, and there was no head. After Ross was not allowed to hold her child, only view him from behind the glass, according to her attorneys, who say the hospital tried to cover up what happened to her baby. Up to that point, they had encouraged the family to, you know, hey, just have a cremation done. Oh, no, you cannot do a... a Autopsy. Well, if you want an autopsy, you have to get it paid for you by yourself. You're not entitled to that. Ross's attorneys claim she didn't learn of the injuries they're now describing until three days after she gave birth. We reached out to the hospital for a response to the lawsuit, which says in part that it denies the allegations and says the doctor mentioned is not an employee of the hospital. The hospital also says its heartfelt sympathies go out to the family. That lawsuit was filed in Clayton County today. For more details on the lawsuit, head to 11alive.com. Molly Oak, 11alive News. We